No. Tell me when. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, hey, my name is Paul Hayes. A little bit about me. Just to begin with, like, I suffer mental illness. I have ADHD. I have Erlen syndrome. That's why I wear the glasses. I'm hypersensitive. Uh, if you've ever seen the movie Beautiful Mind, that's kind of like me. So some days I'm a genius, some days I'm completely crazy. Last year I spent three months in Koenigsfeld Mental Hospital. And that was really hard. And I was there against my will. I was sectioned. Um, I'm a developer. I work for an amazing startup in London that's preventing mental health. They're called Train Effective. Um, we do that by encouraging kids to play sport because sport is the number one way to prevent mental illness. Exercise, teamwork. We teach some mentality. Just a fun fact. Who here knows Elon Musk? That's really cool. Who here thinks he's a good entrepreneur or a bad entrepreneur. Good entrepreneur, hands up. Terrible entrepreneur, hands up. Yeah, you guys get it, right? He's been fired. I know Elon Musk quite well because my first investor happened to be Peter, uh, happened to be Peter Davison and Peter Davison was Elon Musk's first investor. My first investor literally gave Elon Musk the idea to do PayPal and he also gave him the money to start PayPal. And Peter Davison worked with him the whole way through to the exit and my friend Peter Davis, my first investor, thinks he's a shit entrepreneur. He's given a talk at Google. You can meet him. You can hear it for yourself. He's been fired from every single board he's ever been a part of. But one thing I love about Elon Musk is how freaking crazy is it that he wants to send people to Mars? Like, is that genius or is that mental, mentally ill? Who, who here thinks that's mentally ill? Who here thinks that's genius? What if it's both though, guys? What if it's both? It's both, honestly, it's both. I know this, because in my own way, like I want to change the world. I'm sure you want to change the world. I'm sure you want to change the world. Everybody here wants a purpose, right? Uh, and I'm just here to talk about one thing in particular. It's just how terrible, I'm sorry to say this, but guys, in Zurich, people treat mental health workers like shit. And I'm here to raise awareness. Like my last contract, they'll pay me ridiculous money I was there for a week. I've got hypersensitivity in this building, had like mold. And so I was getting really, really sick. But a colleague of mine was getting way sicker than me and he'd been there for quite a while. Do you know what they did with this colleague? They brought him in and they asked him to sign a contract saying that he's fired. You, can, you have to come to work every day and you have to look for another job. Like that is not how you should treat. And that, he was their best developer. That's how they treated their best developer. They fired him, asked him to look for another job because he was mentally ill. That's not good enough, guys. You know what they did with me? On the Monday, so I lasted there a week. On the Monday, I went to my psychiatrist. I told her, can't continue. I need a week off. I just need a week off. It was a super high-paying consulting gig. I actually really liked the work. The work was super easy. I'm a React, React Native guy. Uh, love the work. Love what this company was building. I'm not going to say what company it was. That would be unfair because the CEO is a super nice guy. First off, my friend that they fired, they told me that he was an embarrassment to the company. That's not good enough. When, I, when my doctor, I didn't even call them, my doctor called this company to say I'd be away for a week, they instantly terminated my contract. That's not good enough. That's kind of my story. Just want to raise awareness and just say, if anybody here, like one in four people have mental illness, if anybody here has mental illness and is struggling, please talk to me. Like, I've got my own experiences, I could probably help in some way. I know really cool recruiters, especially if you're mentally ill and you have a shit job. I know awesome recruiters. Um, and the bad companies don't deserve you. If you're, if you're talented, like a lot of high functioning brains out there have mental illness because they're super high functioning, especially developers, right? A lot of developers are very sensitive souls and very fragile, like me. I'm super fragile. I'm like Ferrari mind. I break down all the time. Um, so yeah, if you're one of those and you hate your job or you're just not happy, they're not treating you right, come talk to me. I'll introduce you to my recruiter friends because they're awesome and they get it. And they can hook you up with companies that actually care about you. And if you're a team lead, who here's like a team lead? Can you guys go talk to your staff and ask them if they suffer mental illness? Ask them if they're taking any medicine? Because seriously, like it's hard. Like if you have ADHD and you're on modafinil like me or if you're on Focaline or Ritalin or Concerta like me, Life is hard. Like I come to this uh, talk and I'm watching, who was the last girl? She was amazing. I love what she was talking about. Like I'm really into mindfulness. But oh my God, it's, I'm ADHD and I can't candle how slow <laughs> she was talking, right? 
Uh, so, you know, like I like people to talk and talk and talk and talk about this speed. Um, and it's the same with your, your staff. If you've got somebody in your team that's super high functioning brain taking ADHD drugs like Ritalin or Adderall, oh yeah, just come talk to me because I can tell you like how to, how to handle them and how to make them feel comfortable and how to get the best out of them. Um, yeah, that's my story. And if anyone wants to check out my startup, Train Effective, we're doing amazing things. We're going to change the world for sure. So again, am I a genius or mentally ill? Definitely, probably mentally ill. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.